Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Back at the mine again today, and it's cooled off a little bit, and uh, fall is definitely here. Um, just got to today to come in here and uh, do a little uh, searching, so I'm just going to basically do some surface hunting. Um, I'll show you all the stuff that I normally bring down to the mine in preparation for a day of surface hunting. All right, so I'm going to take a break for a minute from surface hunting. I'll show you what I normally bring down here on a trip to the diamond mine. Um, I always have a backpack, uh, and that's I always bring it whether I'm surface hunting or not. And you'll also notice in all my videos, uh, I'm wearing cargo pants because I like having all the pockets. Uh, you know, they're pretty versatile. Um, I always have boots. I bring a pair that I'll wear, and I have an extra pair in the truck. Um, today I've got rubber boots because it's pretty wet out here. It's pretty muddy, and you're going to do a lot of walking. Um, you try not to step in the mud puddles, but because you know, sometimes you just can't tell how deep they're going to be. Um, so I bring extra socks, extra boots, my rubber boots. Uh, they have insoles in them. Um, I have leather boots. If it's a little drier, uh, the leather boots are pretty good. Um, so uh, those are in the truck. I bring my backpack out here and I carry a lot of stuff with me in the backpack. Um, so I always have sandwich bags. Um, these are good for putting rocks in, kind of keeping them together. You know, a lot of the stuff's going to be muddy. I don't want to get a lot of mud in my backpack, so a lot of times I'll bag up some rocks if I want to take them home. Um, trash bags. Uh, this is pretty handy to have because there are several uses for this. Um, this can be a rain poncho if needed. If you're out here and you want to stop and sit down and take a break and it's real muddy and you don't want to have to try and get all the way over to somewhere to sit, you can pull this thing out, spread it out, sit on it, you'll be good for a while. Um, if it starts raining and you want to keep your equipment dry, you know, in the summertime, uh, occasionally I'll get out here and I want to, you know, it, it might start raining a little bit. It's not too bad in the summertime. If I get wet, but some of the stuff I don't want getting wet be like my backpack, I can wrap it in a trash sack and it's good to go. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, this is a state park and people will leave garbage laying around. It's a good idea if you can, you know, for me it's no big deal. I'll go and pick some of that stuff up when I'm leaving and take it out with me. Um, and having a trash bag makes that a lot easier to do. Um, some of the other stuff that I bring, um, earbuds. So if uh, if you're out here walking around, it's nice to be able to put your playlist on and just walk to your playlist. It's real good exercise. You know, it kind of um, one of the things you kind of got to keep in mind is they have a PA system out here. They make announcements over. So if you've got your earbuds on and listen to your playlist or something, listen to a podcast, uh, you may miss some announcements. Like for instance. Um, inclement weather you know if there's a bad storm coming I, I have seen them announce uh, thunderstorm warnings tornado warnings out here during the summertime a little bit in the springtime so if you have your earbuds in just be you know be mindful that uh, you may miss things that come over the PA system they have um, I bring chargers and charger cords with me so I've got an extra battery uh, I can recharge my phone I can recharge my earbuds uh, that, that stuff all comes out with me um, as far as, uh, I, since I wear glasses, I wear some clip-on shades. Uh, when the sun is out um, and it's kind of wet, there's a little bit of a glare. These are polarized, so it'll kind of cut that glare down. So um, I bring the clip-on shades. You know, somebody that doesn't wear glasses might just bring regular sunglasses. That's kind of handy to have out here. Um, prescription bottles. These are very handy for keeping small rocks. You know, obviously if you pick up something real small and you put it in your pocket, you may never see it again. Um, if you actually bring one of these bottles, they have a couple different kinds. There's a press-on lids and then there's the tab type lock. So either one of those, I don't think there's much of a difference as far as how easy they are to get open in your pocket or in the backpack, but um, real good for keeping small rocks from getting lost. Uh, it, you know, I've got a couple of different kind of containers, but some of the small glass vials, uh, the small glass vials that are available are normally not a real good idea to have outside of the plastic container. Because if you have your little rock in this and then you drop it, like even on this concrete pad right here, that's going to shatter. And whatever rock you had inside is either lost or mixed in with some glass shards. Um, so. I do carry some of these little bottles to keep specimens in, um, but I rarely ever take them out of a plastic container. So, um, so I, I usually bring a couple different kinds. Another thing I bring is a metal spoon. Um, I don't use a lot. 
and the reason it's metal and not a plastic spoon because a plastic spoon if you're trying to scoop something out of a dirt clod or something like that and you have a plastic spoon when you're sitting there crying on it the plastic spoon will bend and it'll put a lot more spring if that thing breaks loose whereas if you've got a metal spoon there's a lot less spring to it so when you're prying something out you have a lot less a chance of flipping it away from you so metal spoons handy to have I normally don't scoop anything out of my centers while I'm here um, one of the main things is if you're scooping small rocks or something like that what you want to do is you want to scoop that in a controlled environment where if you drop it or if it falls out of your spoon you don't want it to fall somewhere where it's going to be real hard to find um, if you you know if you're say surface hunting and you scoop something out take it to a picnic table or something where if you drop it it's not going to fall on soil or somewhere that's hard to find put it somewhere where you can lay it out um, as far as like scooping stuff out of your centers if you're wet sifting that's a whole lot better to do at home on a tray of some kind uh, one of the other things I normally bring magnifying glass uh, if I've got something in my hand that I want to look at a little closer um, magnifying glass makes it pretty handy uh, don't think uh, I don't think they have this size for sale at the Diamond Discovery Center but they do have the smaller ones so those are something that you can pick up here I just I've already already got a big one and it's uh, it's about right for what I use it for so that works for me so this isn't a whole lot of weight um, not hard to carry it around during the you know during the day so I always pack some water in with it uh, in the summertime I really don't bring water out in my backpack because what I do is I load up a cooler with about half frozen water and half water bottles that are not frozen um, that way they keep cold and I can go and get a few during the day or I can bring the whole cooler out here and work when I wet sift but as far as backpacking around I just keep a couple bottles at a time throughout the day I may go and get a couple more bottles just as I finish them so uh, that's for the most part that's everything I bring out here with me um, if it's uh, depending on the time of year it could be kind of variant weather so um, you pretty well know if you're going to be outside you can dress in layers so if you need to take a layer off having that backpack means you don't have to carry it around in your hand so yeah that's a pretty versatile piece of equipment right there normally uh, anytime that I come out if I'm going to even if I'm going to just wet sift material I still bring all this stuff with me because one of the one of the a good tip is that every time you walk anywhere out here don't take the trail walk through the search field because that's an opportunity to surface hunt that's an opportunity to find a diamond that you won't have if you take a trail instead of just walking around through the furrows or something so those are all you know you're always always looking for shiny rocks when you're out here not just in your centers when you're wet sifting but even standing here right now I'm looking at things that are shining around me so um, you always surface hunt when you're out here I always bring this backpack so if, you know if all I'm doing is surface hunting normally this is all I'll have if I'm coming out to wet sift material, I'm still going to have this. I'm still going to carry it around. And every time I leave the search area to go to, you know, to the restroom or something like that, I'm going to walk through the search area, not on the trail, and surface hunt. So um, I think that pretty well wraps it up. Thank you for watching my video. If you would, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the reminder icon so that you know when I put a new video up. If you have any questions or comments, please post them in the comment section below. Thank you.